Ladies and boys and girls, in this video, I will show you how to delete bar VFX in Premiere Pro. Yeah, so let's get into the video. First, go to new item, sequence, horizontal 1080, vertical 920. Add a video into the timeline. Let me add the position and scale. Using type tool, I'm going to add a test. Go to window, essential graphics. Sell the test and go to Align and Transform, make the test center. Under the test, select the rectangle mask tool, create a mask like this. Set keyframe for mask path. Go a few frames forward and adjust the mask path like this. Let me cut the test layer in here. Add another test. Create a copy of this test layer. Change test and position down. Now set keyframe for position, place it to the left. Go a few frames forward and position to the right. Set keyframe for opacity, change to zero. Go a few frames forward, opacity 100. Delete the unmarked portions. Now we are going to animate the second scene. Go to new item, color mat, select the color black. Add a line video overlay in here. Change blend mode to hard light. Go to effects and add tint to the line video. Change the rotation value to 55 degree and increase the scale size. So now we don't need this bottom video. Delete it. Now using type tool, I'm going to add a test. I will set a keyframe for position. Place it to the left. Go a few frames forward and place it to the right. For the second test layer, set keyframe for position. Place it to the right. Go a few frames forward and place it to the left. Sell both keyframes, auto base here. Delete the armor portions. And nest both test layers. Set keyframe for rotation for this nest sequence. Go a few frames forward and see the rotation value. Again, set keyframe for scale. Go a few frames forward and increase the scale size. I will set a keyframe for position. Go a few frames forward and see the position value. So, door keyframes, auto base here. Let me cut the nest sequence over here. Add tint to this nest sequence. Map black to and map white to orange color. Let me add directional blur to this nest sequence. Set keyframe for blur length. Go a few frames forward and increase the blur length amount. Adjust the duration amount to 15 degree. Now go to new item, color mat, change color to white. Add lumetric color to this color mat. Under Vignette, change the amount to minus 2.1. Let me add some test. Set keyframe for position of this test. Slightly adjust the position to the left. Go a few frames forward and adjust the position to the right. Now do the opposite for the second test. Set keyframe position and place it to the left. Go a few frames forward and position to the right. I will also set a keyframe for scale for this test. Go a few frames forward and slightly increase the scale size. Use the Razor tool, cut the environment layers, nest both the test layers. Now go to effects and add Gaussian blur. Set keyframe for blurriness and increase the blurriness amount. Go a few frames forward and change blurriness to zero. 
You see type tool, I'm going to add a test. Change the rotation to minus 90 degree. Place it to the right. Create four copies of the test layer and place it like this. Next, all the test layers. Set keyframe for position. Go a few frames forward, push it slightly down. Create a copy of this test nest layer. Delete the position keyframes. Again, set keyframe for position. Go a few frames forward and position up. Now we are animating the third scene. Go to new item, black video. Place it over here. Add an image into the timeline. Set position and scale. Let me add a test. Go to effects and add drop shadow to this test layer. Increase the amount of softness. Select this rectangle shape tool and create a shape like this. Change shape color to black. Increase the amount of mass feather. Select this test layer and set keyframe for position. Place it to the left. Go a few frames forward and place it to the right. Now, select this image and cut it over here. Go to effects and add tint. Change the map white to blue. Now, let me cut the image in here. Also, the test layer. Add a test. Set key from position. Place it to the left. Go a few frames forward and place it to the right. For this image, delete the tint. Now I'm going to select this rectangle shape layer. Create a shape like this. Under shape, uncheck fill and check stroke. Change color to white, increase stroke width to 30. Go to window and select the session graphics. Increase the roundness amount. Now select the pen tool under opacity. Create a mask around the stroke line. Delete the armor portions and nest these layers. Let me add a black video in here. Add an image. Set the rectangle shape tool and create a mask like this. Increase stroke width. Under essential graphics, increase roundness amount. Add test in here. Add drop shadow to this test layer. Increase the softness amount. Make sure the color is white. Add tint to this image layer. Cut the image in here. Change tint map white to orange. I will set a keyframe for scale. Increase scale size a little bit. Cut the test layer in here and add another test. Now, after all that done, delete the armor portions. Let me add a video in here. Use the type tool, add a test. Set a keyframe for position for this test layer and place it to the left. Go a few frames over and place it to the right. Delete the armor portions. Add a black video in here. 
Use the type tool, add a test. Change color to orange. Let me create multiple copies and place it like this. Place these test layers below this main test. Go to effects and navigation blur. Change blurriness of each layer except the main layer. Add noise to all layers. Amount of noise to 30 percentage. Also, decrease opacity of each test layer except the main test layer. Nest all the layers except the black video. Set keyframe for scale and rotation. Go keyframe over and increase the scale size and change the rotation value. Delete the armor portions. Add black video in here. Add an image. Under shape layer, select this rectangle shape. Create a shape like this. Go to window, SSG graphics. Increase roundness amount. Under opacity, select this pen tool and create a mask like this. Select this rectangle shape layer and create a shape like this around the eyes. Uncheck stroke and check fill. Change fill color to yellow. Use the type tool and go to add a test. Add drop shadow and increase the softness. Let me add another test and place it over here. Let me cut the test layer in here and add another test. Nest all the layers. Add tint to the next sequence. Change map white to orange color. Select the rectangle shape layer and create a shape like this. Change fill color to white. Adjust position or rotation. Create a copy of this rectangle shape layer. Place it to the left. Set keyframe for position. Go a few frames over and place it to the left. Do the opposite for the other rectangle shape layer. Let me add a circle shape layer in here. Uncheck fill and check stroke. Add turbulent displays to the circle layer. Stroke width to 40. Decrease opacity amount. Set keyframe for scale and change to 0. Go few frames forward and increase the scale size. Create a copy of the circle shape and delete the keyframes of scale. Scale to 0, go view brain over and increase the scale size. Set this rectangle shape tool and create a shape like this. Uncheck stroke and check fill. Add test using type tool. Set the test layer and rectangle shape layer next to both of them. Set keyframe for scale and change to 0. Go a few frames over and increase the scale size. Set keyframe for rotation and change the rotation value to minus 50. Go a few frames over and change the rotation value to 0. 
Let's show the layers except black video. Let me add an adjustment layer on top. Go to effects and add noise. Change the amount of noise to 30 percentage. Now let me add another black video. Select the circle shape layer. Set keyframe for scale and change to zero. Go few press over and increase the scale size. Let me add a test. Create multiple copies. And let me add color mat instead of black video. Change the color to white. Change the circle color to black. Add test color to white. Nest top to test layer and nest bottom to test layer. Set keyframe for position. Go V press over and push on top. Set keyframe for position for this motor and sequence. Go V press over and push it down. For this middle test, set keyframe for scale. Go V press over and increase the scale size a little bit. Copy this adjustment layer and paste it over here. So delete the unwanted portions. Let me add a test over here. After that done, let me add final touch-ups. Go to window, extension, premier composer. This plugin is from Mr. Horse. I will put a link in the description. You can download from there. It's completely free. Add this like leak effect in here. Add rotate transition in here. Add digital glitch in here. Add shake and distort transition in here. Add sumo transition in here. Add pan transition in here. Yeah, and that's it, ladies and boys and girls. If you want to know how to edit like Sakling Khan in Premiere Pro, check out this video right here. And if you want to know how to use Mr. Horse plugin, check out this video right here. And if you find this video useful, give a like, subscribe to my channel if you like this kind of tutorial videos, and I will see you on my next video.